Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Play Spelunky. This will be a Golden Goblet episode, and we're, we're getting further. But at the same time, we're also getting further behind. <laughs> we need a, a, a run we can hang our hat on. Hello, Monty. Montgomery. We need a run we can hang our hat on. We haven't had one of those. Um, really, I mean, if you had told me on day one of the Golden Goblet that my best run would be on day one of the Golden Goblet, I, uh, I'd be disappointed. That's, that's for certain. But here we are, and instead of thinking about how many days we've lost, pays to focus on how many days you got left. That's, that's my two cents. Actually, that's, that's my full dollar. What do we want, floor one? It's very simple. Don't even risk it. For a single gold bar, don't even risk it. Yoink. First floor, we want 5 HP. Check. 10 grand? Not check, but that's okay. Some kind of utility uh, throwable? Check. There we go. Feel much more confident doing things this way. Pretty pleased. Do we murder shopkeepers? Um, forget that ghost pie. It's too much of a liability this early. Okay, that's... Speaking of which... <laughs> we, uh, we, we choose at runtime whether we kill the shopkeepers. It is a tough decision. Until I get even decent at it, it's really hard to make the choice, quite frankly. We're okay. Definitely still want the torch. That's okay. You're you're fine. You just you did it wrong. Hello, shopkeeper. I would honestly I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the spike shoes. Honestly, I'm gonna buy the spring shoes as well. And you know what? I'm buying the ropes. We're buying we're buying everything out of the shop for the time being. It's it's our birthday. You can't tell us what to do. Bro, can you just chill? Like we should really, honestly, I think we've got a new habit that would be wise to get in, get into. What is this new habit? It's quite simple, really. I know you're like, we kill the Batman. No. We don't kill the Batman. This kills the Batman. What do, what do we do? We kill the, the freaking things as soon as we see them. We kill the moles as soon as we see them. So I'm gonna level with you. Look, the right play is to take that uh, key, use a bunch of ropes and bombs, and try to get to the Ujad Eye. That's the right play for Spelunky, but the wrong play for my Psyche. With Spring Shoes, this guy is destroyed if we jump on him. So we'd much rather hit him. We tried. Honestly, I don't think anyone can be mad at that effort. We do have some free gold. This is turkey floor, which is great news because we have a torch and we can always light our torch on uh, Yama's, not Yama, Yang's uh, torch. <laughs> I was like, don't use torch twice in a row, but it's the same thing. I'm just looking for skeleton keys. Again, I have no idea if they would actually be valuable for us. Yo, do we have a pet shop? We do have a pet shop. I mean, dude, being able to buy a turkey is pretty sick when you got a torch activated. We might even be able to get to the ghost pot on this one. So, I'll I mean, step one is very simple. We're going to be buying the turkey. It's very cheap. And by very cheap, I mean almost our entire net worth. I wouldn't mind buying Monty as well. You knew there was another one down there. I will say, when it comes down to either Monty or a rope, I feel like I'd rather buy ropes just to keep us alive. Because we got kind of like some serious turkey energy already. And this is how you end up getting Golden Goblet scores that have zero points. 
I don't, I don't disagree. But it's also how you end up having golden goblin runs. Goblin? Golden goblet runs that are longer than, you know, four minutes long. So there's there's a unique trade-off there for me. Donkey dee dunk. Donkey donkey dunk donkey dee dunk. A little spooky. And I'll tell you, because it's spooky, I will not go back for the ghost pot. I I think there's a 9 out of 10 chance I could get the ghost pot and raise my score. But I also think that the the 1 in 10 chance is too risky. Good stuff. That's You love to see that, brother. You love to see that. Okay, so, so far, I'm actually, even though our score is horrible, um, we don't need to take that torch with us. Even though our score is horrible, I'm really, I, I feel so much more at home with this style of run that we're running right here. What happened, man? <laughs> he's, he's not long for this world if we do it this way. So, wh which way do you go? Honestly, without the Ujad eye, I, I guess the Ujad eye can, can be useful either way, but I, I personally don't really care. What I will say, I think we should jump on this fool. Wait for him to come back, we'll get a few extra bombs. I think both second levels carry a severe risk of death. <laughs> but we only opened this path, so let's take this path. I, they both have really bad uh, instant deaths. And I don't know, from a loot standpoint, I feel like you're kind of looking at six of one, half a dozen of another. Why don't you just jump on him, brother? You got spiked shoes. Okay. At the very least, forget hired help. He's he's actually killed me in the furnace uh, a couple times, so I, I'm not... Hello. Not really willing to take a chance on that one here. Okay, so I want the rock dog. <laughs> but he's kind of... He's, he's gonna shoot me if I if I go down there. So I'm kind of like, you know what, maybe we'll wait. What the heck happened there? Great, great peace of, or presence of mind. Great presence of mind. Um, if, if we can't get the rock dog, Hey man, can't get the rock dog. I already got a dog that rocks. Monty. That's gonna crush that gold bar. Hey, there's another rock dog? This one is like a little bit more tempting. <laughs> it's still tempting, just give it a second for that thing to dissipate. Um, and, and then propagate again. The thing is, with the Rock Dog, we're going to get a double jump. With the double jump, we might be able to get Monty back to that uh, altar. And then all of a sudden, we're starting to cook with some gas. You never know what the world might give to. You know, soul helps those who help themselves. Free cape. Dude, now we're talking. Take me down. How sick would it be if there was a turkey in there, dude? <laughs> you can tell, like... Certainly we're still far from perfect. But you can tell we're getting a lot more confident with the new systems. You know, it's not like... Instantaneously we got it all figured out, but we're definitely like... Doing a lot better. I don't care for this key situation, quite frankly. Maybe there's a reason to do it on my normal runs. On the Golden Goblet, you know, we, we, we owe it to ourselves to get something done here. I'm very sorry, hired help. I, I think, honestly, it's better for both of us if you stay in there. Just, just peeking. 
There is a moon challenge in here. The moon challenge for me is one of the best uses of 10 Gs. Hello. I will. I will enter the door to begin the challenge. We have 8 HP, dude. That's amazing. Okay. Free money. Money's good. It is the Golden Goblet. I mean, on how many of our Golden Goblet runs have we even made the... the moon challenge? <laughs> I don't know if I want to know. We have spring shoes. I think you want to come across like this. No enemies? <gasps> oh, that's okay. We're fine, but I'm, like, annoyed. Alright. That's, you know... It is what it is. It is what it is. I appreciate the extra bombs. This is why we're happy to have 6 HP. We had 8 a second ago, but we're still happy to have 6. This is why I never turn on my nose at having a little extra HP. Well, I mean, I guess I've done that a lot, but... I'm trying to do, do it less <laughs> recently. One of the worst uh, trade deals in history right there. This thing could break any minute, so you just want to... Make sure you're getting as much value as possible while simultaneously probably being highly inefficient. You know we're not making it in there. We made it. <laughs> we'll never make it. We made it. Any second now this thing's done. Yo! Oh, still. I, I mean, I think we, we got a pretty good turnout there. I can't be too upset. And she's still alive. For, for the time being, she's about to get so upset, dude. Oh my god, it didn't make it in. Thank the lord above. Okay, we got a cape, which means we can just jump. And, and then fall safely. We have sacrificed a little bit. If we could get up there without getting shot... I don't mind this. That scares the crap out of me. Are we about to get... No, I feel like we have not... ...gotten a sacrifice yet? Oh, we have, dude! That's the Kapala, my friends. That is the Kap You're okay. Thank God there's no conveyors down there. Big place. Oh, man. Turns out, having a little extra uh, ability to jump on that floor makes, makes a big difference. So we can't see a thing. However, quite thankfully, we do have on-demand flame. And you can use that. I haven't been doing a good job of it. You can use that to light torches to give you, like, some passive fire benefit. That's one where I'm like, you can go that way. I don't think I want to if I can avoid it. But I don't know if I can avoid it. We have ten bombs. I'm going to place one of these down. Certainly seems a lot safer. Don't glug me! <laughs> okay, he glugged, but he waited a minute, which is great news. Keep it moving. Don't step on the lava. <laughs> Patience, young Skywalker. Patience. Patience. Okay. That's what we were looking for. We have made it. Um, I know you were probably getting pretty frustrated watching that, but we've, we've done it, so that's pretty exciting. Be a great floor to see some turkeys. Remember, you do have the Kapala. I hear a turkey! I mean, this is incredible eats. Goodbye, turkey. Wasn't my intention to do things that way. But we still... Got some favor, which is good because the favor gets you closer to royal jelly. Would have rather gotten the direct HP, but that's okay. 
So where are we at? 31,000. I don't know if this is yet our best Golden Goblet run, but it is pretty good. So for one bomb, realistically, I think we can get to like 13 HP. That's hard to say no. As much as I'd love to be like, oh no, 7 HP is enough or whatever. I think that that's a fool's gamble. Royal Jelly takes us to 13. Probably not enough to survive a trip in the lava yet, but... Certainly enough to feel pretty good. That's our exit right there. Could use a bomb. In general... Oh, we, we still want the, the blood. In general, if we can platform, I'd rather platform. Because, you know, eight bombs is not a ton. We're through. This is the Olmec fight, baby. So I got advice to myself. Don't get smushed. <laughs> but especially if you're gonna get smushed, don't get smushed sideways. That's the most embarrassing way to go. With no paste, I don't think it's realistic for us to put a bomb up here. Uh, actually, that's incorrect. It is realistic. Hate to do that, but I was lazy. Okay, that's a mega bomb. <laughs> Very spicy. So we spent two bombs and a, uh, two ropes and a bomb to get a boomerang. You do not love to see it, for the record. You do not love to see it. You'll laugh. I do know the Olmec strategy now. Whether or not I'm any good at it. I didn't go quite enough to the left. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Golden Goblet. It was a good score. It was a good score. We'll be back tomorrow. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. See ya!